This is a singles reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, although your Moon sign is probably going to be your most accurate. If you watch my channel often, you'll know why. We'll just skip over that. There's a link in the description box below that'll help you figure out your Moon sign if you don't. Okay, so here we go for Virgo singles. Maybe you're spying on a Virgo who's single. That's okay too, then this video is for you. Um, what do we have in the month of October? So um, Virgo singles might not be, whoa, whoa, whoa. They're having a challenge feeling like really comfortable with where they are financially or at work in their day-to-day -day life, their routines, that sort of a thing. So if they seem standoffish or if you're, um, if you're spying on a Virgo, if they seem standoffish, that could be why. A lot of stressors with their day-to-day -day day -to -day life. Um, but if you are a Virgo, just know that you could be coming off that way, okay? So how are you seeing yourself in the month of October? Unselfish, but not really enthused to get out there and get dating. Um, you know, and this is what I was talking about. There might be a little bit of like excuses, defenses here, like, ah, I just can't juggle it all. I just can't balance it all, right? Um, how are others seeing you? Well, they're seeing you as direct and honest and just knowing what you want, like achieving your wishes and your dreams. Um, but everywhere else except for in regards to love, right? So what should you be avoiding this month? Um, being too hyper-focused on what's right in front of you because you've got to start opening your eyes up to um, larger possibilities, to... It's not that you're not thinking about the long term, but it's like you're so focused on these like day-to-day -day things right in front of you and so then you're not really creating this opportunity for love to flow in, okay? Um, what else do you need to avoid this month? And they're like, avoid... Um, so this is kind of confusing the way that the wording is. Because if it was this way, it'd be like, avoid um, refusing offers of love. But it's like, avoid refusing the refusal of offers of love, which is like a double negative. So basically, it's saying um, what you need to avoid is being a refusal kind of person. Like try to find a way to work like a date in here or there, something like that if you can, or a friendly conversation, like to keep your mind open. Because um, if you don't, when you're so focused on all of these day-to-day -day things, by the time the end of the month rolls around, you're going to be kicking yourself. You're going to regret it a little bit, and you might be feeling particularly lonely or sad. It's like once all your ducks are in a row, you're like, oh, shit. Okay? Um, so what should you be doing this month in order to grow or increase the likelihood of, you know, that soulmate kind of love relationship coming into your life? And they're like, manifest it. Um, use the law of attraction. Think about the things that you want, the things that you desire in terms of love and the universe will start bringing those to you. That's a very positive omen to have here. It's saying that like not, here's the thing, not all of your ducks need to be in a row before love can show up. Sometimes when I do personal readings, it's like, you know what, get all of this stuff organized so that you're vibrating at the same level as the right person for you. Um, because you know, if you're expecting that somebody else has all their ducks in a row, you're not going to attract that until you do, okay? But what it's saying this specific month for you, Virgo, is that um, you're never ever going to be as prepared as you want to be, right? For example, if you're having a baby, you could never have enough diapers. You could never have enough this. Like, you're never going to be 100% ready for anything, really. And so you just kind of have to do it. And so that's what it's saying here, okay? Because... This month is one of those months, like, you know, the first three weeks or so, you kind of put love to the back burner. And then that fourth week, you may be like, oh, man, I wish I had somebody to go out with now and nobody's around. No prospects. So that's the danger for you here. Um, make a few minutes if you can every week. So um, what is working for you this month? And they're like... <laughs> Well, the fact that not everything is perfect means that you're not going... So it's not saying that you're not going to be discerning, right? Like, you're not going to look at somebody and say, Ugh, like, you know, I guess I'll date you even though you're not what I want, right? But 
but you're going to be a little bit more open to the challenges of other people. So a good example would be like, if you said, oh, I don't want to, I'm in my mid thirties and I don't want to date somebody who has children already. Um, you might change your mind a little bit and meet somebody wonderful who happens to have children. Like by you not being totally perfect means that you're a little bit more able to accept the imperfections of others and really embrace them. Um, because Virgos by nature are perfectionists. And it's not to say that you shouldn't ask for things that are as close to perfect as possible. You absolutely deserve that, right? But um, what it's saying is just to have an open mind because sometimes we don't even know how much we will love something, right? Like you think you're not gonna like it, but then it ends up to be a really wonderful blessing. And so that's kind of what we're learning here this month. Um, what's working against you this month? And uh, <laughs> texting, text messages or online dating, like written forms of communication. Um, there could be a few blunders there, things taking it out of context, um, where things aren't fair, where it's like you meant something, it was taken the wrong way. So, you know, before you hit send on anything like that, kind of go back and see how things could be misconstrued or misinterpreted. And again, the same kind of thing here where it's like, you might not be paying enough attention to the details. You could have some really, really embarrassing spelling errors or Siri fails. And then the other thing here is like, um, just make sure that if you are trying to start a conversation or build new connections, you know, via online dating or via text message or messenger, or whatever it is that you're using as far as like typewritten communication, um, that you make time for it. It's just so important for you in those first three weeks. Like if you could just schedule 10 minutes in your day to do it, like an alarm, that would be great. <laughs> They're like, you have to make this conscious effort if you want to end up, you know, in this position of like growing old with somebody, retiring with them, like looking back over the past years, like, cause this is a powerful month for you to potentially meet them towards the end of the month, but you have to actually put the work in. Um, so for some of you, you could meet your forever person this month. I'm sure it's not gonna be all of you, but for some of you, it's absolutely possible that that forever person is out there and the communication starts this month, but only if you take the steps to communicate. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, so, um, what are the lessons that you are overcoming in regards to love in the month of October? Satisfaction. Oh my gosh, so much yes, right? But this is a heart chakra color, so I don't need to be aware of that, um, the energy of this lesson. So like, um, if you could do a heart chakra meditation, that would be awesome to kind of open that up for you. And it says you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. And maybe that's part of the problem where we started, where it's like, I, I want to be successful in my career and in my routine. And I want to like, you know, start working out and I want to this and I want to that. And I want to have this really awesome car. And it's like, I want to do all of these things so then I can meet somebody, you know, then I can meet somebody like me. Um, who also has all these things or desires all these things, who's like-minded. But if we're getting our self-worth and our self-esteem from like our um, entirely from our achievements or how other people perceive us, then we're going to be attracting narcissists and that is never fun. Trust me. Okay, so um, what is the overall outcome for you in the month of October in regards to love? And they're like, don't worry about it. Don't be paranoid about it. Whoa, this guy wants to jump right out. They're like, um, it might not be fun or exciting exactly this month. It really might not be. Um, but that could be the case towards the end of it if you decide to be not so focused on earthly things. And earth energies are, you know, work, routine possession, that sort of a thing. And so I hope that you're not misinterpreting this and like as me saying like, oh, Virgos are so materialistic. No, I'm not saying that you are perfectionists, but you're not materialistic necessarily. It's just like you like things to be done and ordered in a certain way. And that is not a bad quality. It's actually a very attractive quality to a lot of other signs. It's just that like make sure that you make time for communication this month so that love can flow in. Because if you notice there were like no cup cards here, except for the nine of cups, 
Cups, which is the wish card saying, think about the things that you want, communicate it so the universe can bring it to you. But otherwise, like really not a lot of emotion going on this month. But the need for communication was so much there because we're so focused on earth energies. So um, that's kind of your October and all, but I do want to do a little fun uh, little read for what your Halloween will be like in case you're planning to go out and they say, remember how we were talking about, it might not be in those first three weeks, but at the end, you're going out on Halloween and you're feeling confident, wishes are could be granted, you know? So as a Virgo rising, I might just dress up like Tinkerbell and hope that I find a Peter Pan, <laughs> that kind of a thing. But it could totally happen for me, per the cards. So, love and light and best of luck, and um, I hope that you find love. Bye. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.